Okay, in this video I just wanted to talk about abbreviations that sort of hang around the Panasonic GH6 and a lot of these, you know, they'll be relevant for other cameras but um, it, it's just so people kind of understand, you know, either what I'm saying or what other people are saying when they're referring to some of the features on the camera and that they're, you know, they're referring to abbreviations that you, you might not know what they mean. So. We'll start with the most common one and, and that will be MFT. So MFT essentially relates to the sensor size on the camera. So MFT is micro four thirds and that's the sensor size and the lens mount that the camera uses. So uh, generally across cameras you, you'll get kind of um, micro four thirds being one of the smaller ones. Uh, APS-C which you sort of don't need to know this because it's not it's not GH6 one, but it's advanced photo system type C, basically. So APS-C is the next one up. Um, and then beyond that, you've got full frame. So there's a whole kind of range of sensors and um, different lens mounts that you can get with those sensor sizes. So just for the, for the GH6, it's MFT, which is micro four thirds. So the next one is IS and IS essentially stands for image stabilization. And um, I've, I've done a video about this, which I'll link up in the corner because th there's quite a lot of different types of video stabilization you can get on this camera. So you've got IS, the standard image stabilization, which it can be done through a, through a lens. You can have um, uh, OIS on these types of lenses. So this is the 35 to 100 mil. So OIS is optical image stabilization. So that's done in the lens and we can switch that on and off through the lens independently to the camera. And then the camera itself, the uh, the GH6 is, and previous ones before it actually have um, what's known as IBIS and IBIS is in body image stabilization. So you might not be able to see it, but the, the sensor is actually on a, on a sort of gyro of sorts and it will actually move as you move the camera. So as the camera is moving in different directions, it's actually compensating for that movement. Um, and I've had people ask me different things like, how can I get dual IBIS on the camera? And that's not a thing. There's no such thing as dual IBIS. Um, I mean, the camera's got IBIS, in-body image stabilization, and it has the additional option of using lens stabilization. Um, and depending on what lenses you have and what cameras you have, they can work together to create dual IS. And dual IS is essentially just dual image stabilization. And that's when the, the lens and the camera work together to offer even more image stabilization than they can offer on their own. So you've got the in-body stabilization working and the lens st stabilization working together to just offer the most stabilization you can kind of get out of the camera. The next one we'll talk about is HFR. So HFR on the camera essentially is, if we jump into the video menu, sorry, the <laughs> battery on my camera is just about to go. Um, so in the record qualities, we've got lots of different record qualities we can use. And HFR generally relates to the um, what's known as a high frame rate. So the HFR modes can be, um, you know, so you're shooting 4K 100, frames a second or maybe you could go down to um, HD and you know you can shoot um, 200 frames a second in HD and that's kind of straight out of the straight out of the camera and then you go into your editing suite and you can edit that down to to what you want um, and the other side of that is VFR so um, VFR kind of does that for you so VFR is variable frame rate so you kind of have a um, a base frame rate which will already be set and then you set the um, the variable frame rate around it so you know if you're shooting um, 50 frames a second in VFR the footage is going to be slowed down by 50% and you can kind of see that there it, it does all those calculations for you so you've got um, HFR and VFR which are two slightly different ways of working with uh, with kind of frame rates and what you'll find is that um, VFR tends to go beyond the scope of HFR so um, again I've done a video about this so I'll link that up in the corner and that'll give you a bit more information about that but that's just a general kind of overview of um, 
you know what those two abbreviations mean and the next one I wanted to cover was essentially just all the ones on the focus dial and again I've covered the focus dial in another video I'll link it above but in very short you've got um, MF on here so MF just stands for manual focus nothing uh, more complicated than that you know you, you're switching off the um, in-camera focusing so the shutter won't focus back focus won't work touch to focus won't work it's purely manual so you do it through through the lens essentially and then we've got um, C and S so C is um, continuous autofocus so um, it it kind of continues to lock onto a subject while the shutter's half pressed and then S is um, your kind of single focus so it will just lock on once every time you uh, you hit the shutter but like I say I'll um, I'll link to a video above on that because it's a bit more kind of in depth than, than what we've just kind of talked about there but um, yeah that's the that kind of covers that dial really so the next one um, we could talk about we've got on the side of the camera here um, we've got LVF so that's live viewfinder and again that's um, an option to kind of toggle between the way you want to work with the screens on the camera um, the you know the viewfinder and the back screen and again I'll, I'll link to a video on on how to do that but essentially that's that's what that means LVF is uh, stands for kind of loop, uh, the live viewfinder and on the side of the camera we've got um, it, it doesn't actually uh, tell us on here but one of the um, one of the things you might hear quite often with um, the GH6, as this is a, a new feature on this camera, is a USB PD. And a PD essentially just refers to power delivery. So um, it's, a, it's a USB specification essentially that allows power over USB. So it's something where we can um, plug in, say, a power bank through the side of the camera or even um, you know it can be a dummy battery or anything that can offer power over USB-C and enough power to the camera um, again th there's a video kind of uh, I'll link it above on you know how we can use this feature but yeah if you ever hear PD power or USB PD that's all it is it's just um, uh, power delivery and it's, it's just that kind of specification so uh, another one you'll hear quite a lot, um, I've actually said it already in this video, so um, you've got FPS, so that's uh, frames per second, so that's quite quite a basic one for, for video, you know, when we jump in, your FPS is essentially the, uh, the bit that's followed by a P on here, so you can see, uh, hopefully just about in this menu, we've got uh, 25p, 50p, 200p, so they're essentially just uh, frames per second. So you've got 25 frames a second, um, 50 frames a second up in the corner, 200 frames a second. And that's essentially what what those mean. So when you're working with video, you work out how you want your timeline to, to be, you know, what your base timeline is. If you want that to be maybe 24 or 25, some people work in 30. You could even be working at 60 frames a second timeline. It, it all depends on the delivery. The next one we'll talk about is uh, DFD, and I can't really show you this. Um, it's essentially the way the uh, the focusing system works on the on the GH6. So um, DFD just stands for depth by defocus, and the Panasonic cameras get like a lot of uh, a lot of bad press about this because they at times you know they can really struggle. It's it's essentially a contrast a contrast based focus system. So um, in low light or if um, you haven't got a very good um, kind of range of colors and depth in the you know what what's there in the frame you, you can struggle to um, to lock focus sometimes so it, there there are there are better focusing systems out there you know um, there, there's things like um, uh, people say uh, uh, dpath which is dual pixel autofocus and there's sort of names for each one but um you know they're essentially just focusing systems and um dfd is the one that the the gh6 and the cameras before it gh5 mark ii even the s5 actually in the gh5 they, they all use um that same system but it has improved over time it's very much um uh it it's both well it's essentially sensor and software based so you know it's um it is getting better all the time there's a new sensor on this camera and improved 
kind of software on it so it, it is a lot better than it was is it as good as some of the other ones still not quite no but it, it is a lot better than it was and there are plenty of tools out there that you can work with to you know improve what's there uh the the next one is um dr so people will sort of refer to dr or dr boost and dr essentially refers to dynamic range and uh, again i can't um i can't show you that on the camera but um there is a, there is a function on the camera called dr boost and you can toggle it on and off and what it's supposed to do is increase the dynamic range that you get out of the camera and you can do that as well by using flat profiles like vlog on the camera so you can use vlog to kind of extend that range and then use dr boost as well to extend it further so it's essentially um giving an increase in the uh the, the kind of um the, the values that you get between the highlights and the shadow so there's more information there to play with on the each end of the spectrum so you can bring back the shadows a bit and you can bring the highlights back in, a, uh, bring some detail back from them a little bit. So that's essentially what um, what DR is. So it's, it's dynamic range. The next one is a fairly common kind of, uh, a fairly common thing. It's um, SSD and it, we haven't got that written on the side, but SSD, you know, it's a solid state drive and we, we're able now since um, version two of the uh, GH6 firmware to use um, SSD drives just plug straight into the camera. And that's a, that's a really nice feature. And it's not something you get in all cameras, like some do, some don't. So it's when you hear people to refer into SSD recording, it is just that you plug in an SSD drive into the camera and recording through that rather than using the cards on this, this side of the camera. So you essentially yeah you can just go straight to a um, straight to a drive and then plug that into your computer so it's an easier workflow it's cheaper to buy the um, the storage you know you get a lot more for your money and again there's there's a links up to um, SSD um, drives and how to use them and everything with the GH6 up in the corner so check those out if you haven't already the Next one, um, people you might hear people talking about BLK22, and that's essentially just the battery type on the um, GH6. And again, this is important because if you put older batteries in, um, they're not going to give you all the features that the camera offers. So you can put older batteries in, like GH5 batteries. And again, <laughs> we've talked about it, so I'll link it up in the corner. But this is the this is the battery that you want to get everything out of the camera. So it's the um, the BLK22. That's the the newer style of battery that I've, um, both this one and the S5 uses it. So it's uh, yeah. I, I'm not sure actually if the GH5 Mark II as well uses it, but um, certainly the S5 and, and this camera. And the next one, I haven't got it in front of me, but um, the dummy battery for the camera. Um, it's the the DCC17. So if you hear people talking about that, it's essentially um, one of these batteries, um, but it's it will have a lead coming out of the bottom, and you can run the the lead out of the hole in the bottom of the camera through the little grommet, and then it, you can run it out to um, another power source, which kind of brings me to the last abbreviation on there, and that's AC10. And when you hear people talking about AC10, that's the um, the power adapter that you get for this camera. So it's uh, you know plugs into the wall, and then it's just got a little uh, power connector, and that connector connects into your um, into your dummy battery into the DCC17, and then you essentially can just run mains power through the camera. Um, and again, th there's a video about that on this channel. It's just, uh, yeah, it ju just lets you have essentially infinite battery life as long as you've got access to a to a power port. So um, yeah, hopefully that's helped. If it has, give the video a like. If you want to see more about the GH6, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions about other things that haven't been covered in this video, then um, please feel free to just drop them in the comments.